Hello children, today I am going to discuss about the solar system. This is the first chapter of grade 8 geography and also there is a lesson for the grade 5 students on the basis of the solar system. Therefore, I suggest grade 5 students also to watch this video. Now, we will discuss what is the solar system. Look at here, the sun and the other celestial bodies which are bound by the gravitational force of the sun belongs to the solar system. The sun and the other celestial bodies which are bound by the gravitational force of the sun belongs to the solar system. Now we will see what are the celestial bodies found in, the, in our solar system the sun the main body of the solar system sun is the main body of the solar system and planets the largest celestial bodies the largest celestial bodies are known as planets and smaller planets or dwarf planets natural satellites of the planets and millions of other rock particles or debris example Asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. Now we will discuss about the about the planets. Look at here. Spherical objects that are moving on orbits around the sun are called planets. Spherical objects that are moving on orbits around the sun are called planets. Planets are spherical objects. They are moving on orbits around the sun. There are main eight planets. Earlier there were nine planets. Uh, but in 2006, the Pluto was consider considered as a dwarf planet. They can be classified as inner planets and outer planets. There are five dwarf planets. Now, we will discuss about the inner planets. Look at here. The planets located between the sun and the belt of asteroids are known as inner planets. They are closer to the sun. They are smaller and rockier. They don't have rings. Very, they have very few moons. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Now, what are the outer planets? What do you mean by the, by the outer planets? Look at here. The planets, planets located out of, the, out of the belt of asteroids. The planet located out of, out of the belt of asteroids are known as outer planets. They are also called the Jovian planets. Jupiter and Saturn are gas games and Uranus and Neptune are ice games. They have multiple moons. They have supporting systems. Now, now you can have a, have a comparison between the, between the inner planets and outer planets. Now we will discuss about the dwarf planets dwarf planets are the small planets which have no fixed orbits. The small planets which have no fixed orbits are known as dwarf planets. There are five dwarf planets. I mentioned you in the earlier. They are where the Pluto was considered as a planet and now it is considered as a dwarf planet. Now we will see what are the dwarf planets. Pluto, Eris, Ceres, Meek and Haumia. Now if you are not remembering these uh, dwarf planets names, you can make with them with your friend's name. You can mix with them your friend's name. Like uh, 
Luto Atsare, Eris Onisha, Siris Hashem, Make Me Kiruni, Homia Onaya, like that. But don't go too much uh, because the, your friends will be angry. And now we will know how we are going to remember the uh, other planet's names like this my very educated mother just saw us nighting games. My very educated mother just so as nighting gears look at here my niece mercury very means venus educated means earth uh, mother means mars just means the uh, jupiter so means saturn as means uranus and nighting gears for neptune my very educated mother just so as nighting gears now I think you have learned something about the solar system. In next video, I am going to discuss about the. Uh, we are. I am not. I am going to discuss. We are going to have and have interviews with the inner planets. Sometimes the sun also will join. Sometimes uh, the sun will join with the outer planets. And uh, enjoy this video. Have a nice day.